Oh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, (laughs) Joe Biden, Joe Biden. Where do we even begin with Joe Biden? I uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody so gaff-tastic as Joe Biden. I'm going to miss him. Uh, we should keep him around as a clown. Uh, seriously, give him one of those pointy hats and let him just do jokes and have him be a clown once in a while. This guy, if he was on the right, this guy would be the most hated man in America. He would be. Because they would actually pay attention to him. They would actually... They'd say he is everything they say the right is. He really is one of the most ridiculous, racist. Um, he, You know what he is? At best, he's our grandparents. The worst part of our grandparents. You remember when our grandparents were, we were like, okay, uh, Grandpa, we don't say that. Uh, that's really near... That's Mr. 1940s. Remember, I remember my grandfather saying, and he was so serious. And I must have been about eight. And I knew, Grandpa, you're, you're talking about 40 years out of time here. <laughs> but I remember my grandfather being dead serious and saying, I want you to know, no matter what anybody tells you about colors, they're good people. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Grandpa, I... A, I know that, and I don't think I've ever heard the word coloreds before. <laughs> That's who Joe Biden is. Mm-hmm. You know, he's that out-of-time grandpa that you're like, okay, I'm embarrassed by you now. Again, you're giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Because they would never do that for someone who is a conservative. They would be a hateful racist that yep. was insensitive to everything. Every right. time Joe Biden does one of these, it's just, oh, he's the sweet old grandpa that just always... Oh, That's a, just Joe. That's okay. Joe just, being now, Joe. I can't, I can't say that about what he said yesterday. This is... Remember, you couldn't say we're going to politically target someone. That's dangerous. Because you're going you're gonna to start all kinds of riots. You're going to start all kinds of hatred. You're stirring things up. What does Joe Biden come out yesterday and say? Listen to this. Look. Because now we got a real clear picture, as Tom pointed out. We got a real clear picture of what they all value. They've said it. Every Republican's voted for it. Look at what they value and look at their budget and what they're proposing. Romney wants to let the, he said in the first hundred days, he's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Did he say that? Has he said that? Yeah, it does. In the first, quote. Mm-hmm. the first hundred days, yeah, he he's said, going to let the big banks write their own rules. He said, especially, he followed up on that and made it a little worse, I thought, when he said, <laughs> especially Chase Bank and my friends at City right. that I'm in bed with who contribute to my campaign so right. greatly. Hang on yeah, just I'm a second. Let them do whatever they want. I'm going to let them get away with murder if they want. Really? That's what he's, yeah. I don't I, remember I, that. I, I thought it was inadvisable when he said it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you've said too much, Mitt. You've said too much. I'm going to let them write their own rules. He also, and a lot of people haven't heard this because it hasn't been reported because of the of the right-wing controlled media, but uh, Mitt has also come out and said he's going to smuggle guns across the border and give them and put them in the hands of the drug cartels. Yeah, that was, that was not a, good either. Hmm. Oh, no, wait a minute. That, I mean, that was oh, done. Oh, that was done by the Obama. Anyway. Uh, Let's not focus on that one too much. Again, there's more from Joe. Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. Oh, jeez. He said he's going to do nothing about stopping the practice of outsourcing. Republicans on, even too, when he said he's not going to do anything, nothing. I'm not no, going to do, do nothing, nothing about the practice what is, of outsourcing. Okay, hang on just a second. <laughs> Here is a, this is the most racist, the racist white guy stuff I've ever heard. Wow. Listen, oh, come on. Not the most well, racist no, white stuff okay, I've ever heard. Okay, all right. Okay, you're right. I have, I have. You're talking read, about Joe Biden here. He's got worse than this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, you've read Woodrow Wilson. I've, I, I, I've read Wood, yeah, Woodrow right. Wilson. I've also read Mein Kampf. So yeah. it's really not the most racist. Right. But it is. If for a vice president in today's world, it's mm-hmm. shocking. It is shocking. Mm-hmm. First of all, if you play this, do you remember the audio that, uh, that from Hillary Clinton where Hillary's like, 
They don't tell no me. Wise. Don't they tell me I'm tired. I ain't no tired. Oh, that was and you're worst. like, what the hell is this? Joe Biden just did this. Mm-hmm. Joe Biden yeah. is trying to become black. I think. I think he's doing some sort of S- southern there. black. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he says they're going to put you back in change, and then he becomes like, I, I don't. I don't know. It, a character, a Jackie Gleason character from Smokey and the Bandit. Just the word y'all would get Romney uh, four days of ridicule uh, by the mainstream exactly. media. This man is from Delaware. Yeah. You, you don't use the, word use the word y'all. y'all. He, he never says y'all. He, he never. And if so, if, if a Republican had done this, that would be a huge focus. And then talking about the chains thing, putting you back in chains when there's a group of black people in the room is... That's unbelievable. It's inconceivable.